<sighs> What's up guys, I'm back at it again. I'm gonna do a review on Minions. Came out in 2015, the same year as Shaun the Sheep movie, Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur. Sorry guys. Um, Hotel Transylvania 2. Hotel Transylvania 2, Goosebumps, the, P the Peanuts movie, what well, should we call it, it's Charlie Brown and Snoopy present the Peanuts movie, Home, um, Accelerate, so, yeah. so basically what the plot is, this is a prequel to the Despicable Me movies, the main Disney movie, the main franchise. So this takes place years and years before everyone existed, when dinosaurs existed. The minions trying to find a new boss, but fail all the time. But then they find a new, then years and years later they find a new home, and then they start having fun. But then they all become depressed until one minion has a plan. His name was Kevin. He announces, so he announces that he's going to go out there and find a new boss for them. But he needs uh, two people to help him by his side. Stuart volunteers, but Bob really wants to go. So Stuart and Bob goes with Kevin to find, try and find the new boss. And that's what basically what the plot is. Now guys, when I heard back then that they were making a Minions movie, I was like, Oh, this will be awesome. That will be awesome. Because I love the Minions. And they're my favourite characters. So yeah, they have their own movie. I heard it's going to be a pretty cool. Like, like how they met grew, and I was like, wow, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah. And then when I saw Kevin, I was like, oh, look, oh, it's Kevin from the first two Despicable Me movies. And then when I saw Stuart, I was like, oh, it's Stuart as well. And then when I saw Bob, I was like, oh, he's, there's a new minion. He's he's new. Which, yeah, min, which, yeah Bob, I was kind of finny about, like, I didn't know about Bob until, yeah. So yeah, and then they did announce in Despicable Me 2 that they're going to make a Minions movie, which yeah. And then, and then, then when I, when I saw, I saw this movie in cinemas back in 2015, when I watched it, I actually loved it very much. I was like, wow, that was a more awesome movie. Definitely one of the best movies of 2015, which yeah. Oh, and Spectre also came out in 2015 as well, which yeah. So your Minions, what can I say? I actually love this movie. It's a great movie. It's my second favourite movie of 2015. First being the Shaun the Sheep movie. Which, yeah. Which, yeah, so let's get to characters. So Stuart is my favourite character in this movie. He's funny as. Bob is hilarious. I love Bob. Kevin, yeah, he's once again a good character. All the minions, the other minions, even though they weren't really in the movie that much, but they're still great characters. Now, and they also met this family, which, yeah, with... Walters, Walter and all, which yeah, they're actually really good characters. They are, they may be villains, but they're actually very nice too. Stuart, Bob, and Kevin, which yeah. But then there's this villain called Scarlet Overkill, which yeah, Scarlet Overkill. What can I say? She's a fantastic villain. Honestly, she's such an awesome villain, Scarlet Overkill. I absolutely love Scarlet Overkill. She's one of the best female villains out there, along with. Mom from Futurama. Um. Let's see who else. Fanny from. Uh, Bob's Burgers, the one that Felix was with. Um. Gladi Gladi Shaft from Over the Hedge. Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Ursula from. The Little Mermaid, Accelera. So, yeah. Anyway, um... So, yeah, Scarlet Overkill is a great villain. I absolutely love Scarlet Overkill. And I also like her husband, Herb Overkill. Yeah, he was also a great villain as well. Which, yeah. And, and yeah, and Gru, he did appear in this movie as well. Like, he appeared at the end. Like, the bit where... Bob and all were at villain con. Yeah, Kevin was well, like literally went past Gru. If you see Kevin walking, yeah, and villain con, you could see right behind him it's Gru and his mother, and it's Dr. Nefario there as well. Which, yeah, 
Which, if you see, if you look behind Kevin, Gru is right there. I was like, oh, Gru! Which, yeah. And we also saw um, Miranda, Miranda's, Miranda as well, and uh, Dr. Nefario as well, which, yeah. It's nice seeing those two as well. Which, yeah. And then we saw, at the end, we saw Gru, and then, and that's how Kevin met Gru, and how that's how the minions found Gru. So, yeah. And the scene where Kevin, like, turned the giant and saved the minions, so, yeah, that was a great scene. And then, but then when we all thought Kevin died, yeah, that scene was very still. But then when Kevin came back, it was very nice. Which, yeah, the scene where Kevin saved everyone, yeah, that was a really great scene. Which I could totally relate to that. And I also had merchandise of this year's goal. Like, I had a glide, gliding thing. Like, you know, the, one of those parachutes that people have, yeah? There was a Minions thing that was straight in Bob and Kevin. I had that years ago. And, and yeah, they were fun. I got, yeah. My uncle actually had one of them, and he asked me, uh, which option do I get? Do you want Stuart, Bob, or Kevin? And I said Stuart, and he, did, and he gave me Stuart, which, yeah, that was very nice of my uncle gave me in that, which, yeah. And like you all know, I have a lot of merchandise for Minions. Like, I have a Minions piggy bank, a Minions pillow, Minions toys, and Minions cup that I got when I went to go see Minions as a group um, two years ago. The Minions toy from a Kinder egg thing. And yeah, and the Minions toy thing from McDonald's, which yeah, I had lots of Minions toys from McDonald's back then, which yeah. So yeah, so overall guys, oh yeah, I, I like the animation in this movie, the animation movie is pretty nice. And the way the British, they told me this movie was British, yeah, that was kind of funny. And I had a British play of this years ago, which... Yeah, I don't know what happened to that clip, but yeah. So overall, guys, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's it's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. It's a, such a great movie, a great start to the franchise, even though I reviewed on Despicable Me first, but that's the main... Despicable Me is the main movie. This is the prequel, which... Minions, yeah. So yeah, my next review is going to be Minions, The Rise of Crew, which, oh yes, can't wait to review on that masterpiece. So yeah. And screw Frozen Wish Studios ran on this movie... Oh, and screw his rant on Despicable Me 4, which, yeah, it's, we all, I do not want to speak of that rant ever. Which, yeah. So, yeah. I've, and I'm going to say this. Minions is way better than Wish. How do you like it now, Frozen Wish Studios? Meh. Even though I've moved on from that joke. Like, we did it with Trolls Band, I got a the one, and I only wanted to do it for Force and Wish Studios, just for once. I only wanted to do that for fun, which, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that joke anymore, because it's age, because it's pretty old now, which, yeah. And the reason I said Minions is better than Wish, because Wish is his favourite movie, and I like Minions way, and he hates Minions, so I said wi Minions is way better than Wish, even though I like Wish, but Minions is 100 times better. So anyway, so yeah, Minions, like I said, get ten, it gets a 10 out of 10, it's, a, it's an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. I love this movie. It's a great movie. I enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you all. My next review is Minions Rise of Gru. So yeah, thank you all for watching and goodbye. Oh, and keep forgetting this. Banana!